to celebrate all the great things mums do. P&G, as part of their Thank You Mum campaign, are bringing us a series of short films that honour some of the unsung heroines. They've created the best environment to help their kids follow their dreams. My ethos as being a mum is for children to enjoy life. To follow your dreams. Throw out the strengths of, you know, your children as individuals. Shoulder to cry on. Show them you love them no matter what. Giving them encouragement. Support them. Nurture them. She's, it's not mother and daughter anymore. It's just pure friendship. I mean, that is the key, as, think, as far as I'm concerned, to any success. Never pushing, with no thought of the sacrifices they make, mums help us all go for gold. Children need support, and I mean, the more you support your child, the more they will come to you. You bring your children up, but you must remember that you're not living their life. This is their life. She's made all the sacrifices. She's given up really having a, a normal life. I think she was born with her determination, her desire to achieve, and I think it's been my job to nurture that. You get out of life what you put in. It's always been our motto, and it's certainly Paula's motto. I don't feel that I have made any sacrifices, and what I would say is that we've changed things as a family. And I hope that as a parent, you know, we've, we've allowed him to, um, to flourish, if you like. Seen all the sacrifices she's made, all the sacrifices the family's made, all down to that one day, but it, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be, you know, a day to remember. You see, being a mum is much more of a marathon than a sprint. In my house, you do what mum says, and that is what it is with mum. Don't let them get too big for their boots. <laughs> we definitely keep his feet firmly on the ground. Just because he's won a silver medal doesn't mean he gets out of the washing up. She scrubs up very well. Secretly, I was thinking, hmm, got a really good degree, and he wants to ride a bike. Did I say that to Chris? No. It's a bit of a joke in the family, really, that uh, I brought Jessica and Carmel down to the sports summer camp uh, just to get cheap childcare. <laughs> <laughs> unflappable, unstoppable, unbeatable. Every mum is a winner in our eyes. At Beijing, the 2008 Olympics, to come back with the silver medal was amazing. We opened bottles of champagne <laughs> and danced out onto the street. When he won, the gold medal in, in Melbourne was pretty special and he was looking for me and he wanted me to come down so I ran down and saw him and we just hugged. If she was on the podium and, and had one gold I would be ecstatic, probably I'll cry. <laughs> When he won silver in the Olympics in Sydney, I, I thought I was going to burst with pride. You know, you think that Ben's not going to be able to do something, and he does it, not just does it, but does it and some as well. It makes me feel quite emotional, actually. She's a lovely girl. She's a talented swimmer. She's a kind person, and I think I'm most proud of her for that really more than anything else. Mother is always a mother, no matter how old your child is, you always be there. Just watching her achieve is, um, you know, it opens my mind up to what I can do. I was proud of him when he won the egg and spoon race when he was a wee boy as well, so um, just a boring mum that loves her kids.